today, we're gonna see who would win in a fight, a Megalodon or a giant Leviathan, along with some other underwater creatures that you've never seen before. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the coolest animations I have ever seen of the Megalodon. Basically, the huge version of a great white shark. And I just had to show you guys. Now, supposedly in this animation, the great white, it's not even a great white, it is literally a great Megalodon fight something called the Leviathan, which is an ancient underwater creature that supposedly existed around the same time that the Megalodon did, you know, millions and millions of years ago. So right on the screen, we have the Megalodon and behind it chasing it is the Leviathan, which I think is kind of just like a giant sperm whale, which has huge, massive teeth. I honestly have no idea who's going to win, but like just based on size alone, it looks like the Leviathan is like quadruple the size of the Megalodon, which is crazy to think. After watching this video, I'm probably never going to step foot near any body of water ever again. Not even, not even like a little tiny pond. I am scared of the water after watching these videos. You guys seem to really like it too. A couple weeks ago, we watched the Bloop versus El Gran Maha. So I thought we would check out some other underwater animations. And if you guys enjoy, let me know in the comments down below because there are tons and tons of these. Wait a second, I think it was chasing great white sharks. This is the what? That has to be the Megalodon. What? Holy smokes. It just bit it, dude. That's me taking a bite of my Taco Bell. He tried to one bite the Megalodon. What? There's no way it killed a Megalodon with one bite. Look at that. Wow. The Leviathan ate the great white shark like it was a little, little sushi roll. Ew, what are those things on the ground? That is gross. I don't understand the ocean. The ocean is pretty much just like an alien planet to me. There are so many weird alien creatures down there that I just, I don't want to know about. If I don't know about it, I, it's probably for the best. You know how they say ignorance is bliss? It is, all right? If you don't know about it, you can't be scared of it. That's my thought process. Wow, dude, look at all these sharks. Now, I know people say that, like, sharks don't really like humans. I don't want to put that to the test. I, I never want to get, like, that close to a shark. That is, like, my top five fears in the entire world, just, like, swimming next to sharks. And look at these bad boys. The Megalodon, it, it looks like a tiny fish next to the Leviathan. That is insanity. These things are huge. They're, they're like, up to 25, 30. Sometimes the Megalodons can be 50 feet long. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, those things are huge. And it looks like there's an entire pack of great white... I, I, I keep thinking that they're great white sharks because they look just like them, but there's a bunch of megalodons, legit megalodons, following after the Leviathan right now. Wow. Oh. Oh my gosh, okay, there was one, two, three, four, five megalodons on the Leviathan's tail. I would simply just become an earth animal. I would grow legs and get out of the ocean if I have five megalodons trying to eat me. That has to be the biggest one of them all, right? What? It has razor sharp teeth and it looks like they're all about to team up on the Leviathan. There's no way the Leviathan survives. I can't tell, are those great white sharks next to it or are those megalodons? They look practically the same. That's why I keep getting them mixed up. Oh, but never mind, that's a megalodon. That, these are Megalodons. The big boys are Megalodons. Wait a second. I think the Leviathan took a bite out of one. Oh, okay. It, it has one. Now, it's the Leviathan kind of seems like a snake, where if a snake has something in its mouth, it's pretty much vulnerable. It can't do anything else to fight back. Oh, my gosh, dude. That, that Megalodon is as big as the Leviathan. Could they be that big? I'm getting goosebumps just looking at this. Like, I am terrified of the ocean. And, and, like, just knowing that these creatures once existed, and they could still exist. Like, we really have not explored that much of our ocean. We've explored more of space than we have of our own flipping ocean. So these things could be lurking somewhere deep beneath the surface. We have no idea. Oh my gosh. Whoa, dude, they're kissing. Not really, but kind of look like it for a sec. Wow, look at the teeth marks. Holy... Wow! Oh my word! What? The Megalodon took a huge chunk out of the Leviathan! That was epic! Wow! 
That is amazing. That that must be real tasty. Oh, it didn't even try to bite it. It just killed the Leviathan. It literally it said, I don't even want to eat all of your blubber. You're too fattening. I'm on a diet. And it just dropped the Leviathan to the bottom of the ocean. That is impressive. Oh my gosh, dude. It's actually just on the bottom. It's dead. And look at it. All of the great white sharks look like baby fish. They look like goldfish next to the Leviathan. That was such a cool animation. Wow. Look at all like the, the scrapes and the cuts on the Leviathan, which is pretty similar to like whales today, like sperm whales today. You'll find them with like a bunch of these cuts on them from just like previous battles with either sharks or killer whales or even other whales that are out there. Wow. So this is before the Megalodon, before the Leviathan. I think there's mainly a creature that like is like a Mosasaurus like creature called like the Ichthyothorus. I feel like that's what it is, but correct me if I'm wrong. You guys probably know a lot more about ancient underwater dinosaurs than I do. But yeah, it seems like on the beach, there's like a bunch of Mosasaurus-like dinosaurs, but there's a bunch of other ones as well. And the animations are so well done. Like you guys are going to be blown away, especially at the end. The end of this animation is unreal. All right, so on the beach, like normally today we see like sea lions and penguins on the beach. Uh, this is what it looked like supposedly back during the Triassic period. A bunch of giant lizards on the beach. Literally the size of like 10 of my moms. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at that. They're like ancient giant bearded dragons. Wow. And this isn't even underwater. This is what was on land. Look at the choppers on that bad boy. Oh my gosh, dude. He's definitely from the UK. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. The animation looks so good. Look at the detail. Wow. That is cool. This is like Minecraft with RTX turned on. It's weird to me that some creatures had teeth that like came out of their mouth. I don't understand, like, what evolutionary process led to that. Super weird. Because, like, most creatures, you think, like, their teeth are kind of just, like, inside of their mouth. Whoa. Is that just a wave? Okay, yeah. I think we're, we're officially in the water. Wow. Look at the flippers on some of these bad boys. Oh, what is that thing? It's so peaceful, but it's also so scary knowing that... If I was there, just like out having a nice day swimming, I'd be dead in like three seconds. These things would eat me faster than I could say chicken nuggies. It is really peaceful. I'm lucky that I could just watch it from a screen. The brave men and women that filmed this, they're the real heroes. I feel like there's going to be a battle. That's what it seems like. There can't be this many teeth, and there can't be a battle. It's not how civilization or society works, all right? Somebody's gonna use these teeth for wrong. Somebody's gotta eat. Is that like an ancient turtle? What the heck? That has to be an ancient turtle. Look how big it is. What? <laughs> it looks real. Honestly, this looks like real footage. Oh, never mind. That is not a turtle. That is not a turtle, ladies and gentlemen. I, I spoke way too soon. That thing had the teeth of like, like they were six feet long spears as teeth. What? That's the Loch Ness Monster. That has to be the, the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World. It is massive. I can't even imagine if these creatures were around today. I mean, I know that I said I wouldn't go in the ocean. And I stand by that. I definitely would not go in the ocean. I know that there's sharks still out there, but like I said, you know, sharks don't really like humans. I don't know what these things like. I'm not sure what they're eating. And it, it could be me. I could very well be on the menu. I'm going to stay nice and safe on land. Actually, it is kind of interesting to think that like... During this time period, there were obviously like like Tyrannosaurus Rexes, there were Velociraptors, 
So would it be better to be on the land or would it be better to be in the water? Because both seem equally as terrifying. I think I would want to be like on a giant boat. Yeah, that's probably the safest bet. Because then I don't really have to worry about the underwater creatures unless they eat my boat. So that's a lot better to me than being on land and having like a T-Rex just like come and like it's at my window. It, it, could, it could literally just like chomp away at my house until it gets me. If I'm on a boat, I think I'm safe. Or if I'm in the International Space Station. Maybe that's better. Whoa, look at the scar on that thing. Wow, the animator did such a good job making this as realistic as possible. It's so impressive. People are amazing. Oh, wait, do they like each other? I can't tell if they're, like, trying to, you know, like, fight each other or if they're dating. Maybe both. The shots are so cool. The details on these guys is magnificent. Oh my goodness, dude. That thing has a giant nose. That thing has a bigger nose than my brother. Wow. Holy smokes. This really makes me want to play the game Feed and Grow Fish. Because I'm pretty sure every creature that we've seen so far is in that game. They have so many ancient dinosaur creatures. It's so much fun. Oh wait, they're all hunting. They're hunting just like killer whales and dolphins do. They're like corralling the fish into a tornado. How'd they get a GoPro on this guy? What? That is impressive. The sheer dedication and skill is impressive. 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh, I would not want to be a fish. It is a bad day to be a fish. Oh, dude, it ain't one of the big guys. <laughs> what? I was not expecting that. That guy was hunting the smaller fish and then the bigger fish came and just jumped at the, at the other big fish. There's always a bigger fish. That's true, unless you're a Megalodon. Now, I guess there is the Leviathan. What is the biggest fish? I mean, I know that it's the blue whale, but the blue whales, it's like, it's, it's like the kindest creature ever. It literally eats like baby fish. A blue whale, act, it kind of acts like it's on a diet. I guess it is kind of big. Oh, it escaped? Oh, what? Wow. Oh, oh, dude, they're fighting. What? It latched onto its fin. Is it just me or do they look like super bony? They look super bony. Oh! Whoa! He went for the kill. Wow. Did it get it? It had to have, right? With teeth like that, it had to kill it. Oh, what? That was crazy. Oh no, it's dead. It's dying. Those shadows are horrifying. They're so scary. I feel like I just watched like National Geographic. But everything that I just watched was fake. Like, none of that was real. But it, it could have been. 160 million years ago. What? What are these guys up to? Oh, they're eating it! Oh my goodness, dude! It washed up on shore and they're all having a big brunch! It is an all-you-can-eat buffet right now. Ew! Oh my gosh! That is the cycle of life. But well, that's disgusting. Wow. That could feed them for weeks. That was so cool. 
If you guys enjoyed that animation, definitely leave a like, and while you're at it, click this video to see more.